One thing the pandemic taught us, nobody wanted to go back to work. <laughs> Freelancing is nothing new, but it's definitely seen a surge over the last few years. You might have no idea where to start if you wanna become a freelancer, and that's okay because that's exactly what you're going to learn in this video. My name is Megan, and I help freelancers, agencies, and consultants land clients. The first thing a lot of you say is, I don't have a service that I can sell. Yes, you do. We all have at least one skill that we can monetize and most of us have more than one. Here's how you can start coming up with ideas for different freelance services that you can sell. What you're gonna do is you're going to go on job boards and bidding sites, not to find clients, but you're gonna go on sites like Upwork, uh, Career Builder, Monster, Indeed, Simply Hired, all those different job boards. You can even go on Fiverr and see who some of the hot sellers are. Sift through the categories, look at what types of professionals there are. What you wanna ask yourself is, what types of freelancers are out there? What is in demand? What are people hiring for? That's the big question. What are people hiring for? You're gonna make a list of everything that you already know how to do or you think that you could quickly pick up the basics of. You do not have to be an expert, okay? You just have to know more than your clients. You're going to focus on one main service for now. You could expand later, but for now, pick one. Once you have your service, you wanna pick a niche. My advice to you is to start broad, okay? Now, you don't want to work with everyone because that's exactly what all of your competition is doing, which means you are going to drown in the competition. But you also don't wanna to get too specific yet because it's just a little early. You need some time to test the waters. So start broad, okay? Uh, as an example, health and wellness. That's my agency's niche. We stayed broad. We never really narrowed down beyond that because it wasn't in our best interest. Uh, fashion, finance, beauty. If it's something you like and something you know a lot about or you can go learn about, you're on the right track. So you've got your service and you've got your niche. Now you need a platform. We are not going to worry about a website right now, later. For now, you need a platform that's going to make it quick and easy for you to go out and land at least those first few clients so that you can start generating some income. Once you have a little bit of cash flow, it's going to give you so much more breathing room. So as a new freelancer, that's your number one goal, get clients. It can take a very long time to build up, you know, enough traffic to a website to use that as your source of clients. So we're gonna go somewhere else, LinkedIn. It's going to be way quicker and way more effective. You might already have a LinkedIn profile or maybe not, that's okay too. Either way, the first thing you wanna make sure you're doing is optimizing your LinkedIn profile around your primary and secondary keywords. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's totally okay. I have left a few videos, a few links below this video that will tell you exactly how to do that. Uh, long story short, you wanna optimize your profile because it's going to make it easier for you to be seen by your target market. That's why we do that. Once you've optimized your profile, you also want to start posting regularly. Um, what matters most is that it's consistent and it's high quality. So that might, might mean once a week. Some of my students do that. It might be twice a week. It might be once a day, like what I do. Uh, pick a number that you can be consistent with and run with it. I also have a video on LinkedIn posting frequency, so I'm gonna leave that link below. Posting regularly is something that's going to help bring you inbound leads. It's the same with optimizing your profile. It's going to bring you inbound leads, which means leads that come to you. But we do not wanna rely on inbound leads solely. Anyone who is telling you that you can do that in the very beginning, run in the other direction, okay? That takes all of the control completely out of your hands. So what we're gonna do instead, this is what I teach my students, this is what I do, we are going to go out and get leads. Here's what you're going to do. By this point, you have your niche. You are going to search your niche on LinkedIn. You're going to filter it by companies. You're going to go to each company page and start looking through their employees. And you're going to send a few invites to employees in your department. These are the people that you are ultimately going to reach out to and pitch your services. As you probably guessed, I have a number of videos on this as well, so I'm leaving those links below. What we've done here is we've built the foundation, which is setting up your profile and starting to post consistently. And then we've started prospecting. We've started generating leads. 
This is, of course, a very condensed version of my full process, but especially if you are just getting started freelancing, or honestly, if you've been freelancing and you're just having a hard time landing clients, this is going to be more than enough information to point you in the right direction. Where most freelancers go wrong, well, there's two reasons actually. The first reason, they have no strategy. As a freelancer, you are a business owner, so that means you have to understand sales. A lot of freelancers only focus on understanding what they do. So like if you're a writer or a graphic designer, that's a big mistake a lot of freelancers make. They only think about their skill set, not about all the other skills they have to acquire as a business owner. That's the first mistake, which thankfully is easily fixable. And number two, they quit when they don't see immediate results. I get it. Um, I think especially in today's very digital age, we are uh, conditioned to expect and to enjoy immediate results, instant gratification. Uh, that's why every time someone likes your social media post, you get that like instant jolt of the happy hormones. It makes you feel good. Um, but we're talking about building a business and ideally building a business that's going to sustain you long term. Uh, things aren't always going to be immediate. In fact, they very often will not, but that's okay. Don't get shiny object syndrome. Don't assume that if you don't get results in a week, it's not working. Just keep showing up. If you keep showing up, you're going to outlast most of your competition and you will see results. Like I said, what I've told you in this video is just a sliver of what I teach in my program, Revenue Spark, the Client Accelerator. If you are a freelancer or an agency or a consultant and you've hit a plateau and you're having a hard time landing more clients, this can help you. I've left the link below where you can go learn more about the curriculum. You can read a few testimonials. And if you'd like to move forward with a phone call, you can book a call with me. If you're still watching this video, it's because you found it helpful and I'd be really grateful if you could give it a thumbs up to support my channel. If you have any questions, drop them in a comment and I'll see you next time.